So it's the desert. Sun-baked, nothing but sand and windblown scrub brush, nobody around, desert. And I'm walking, see, and I look there. Something, I think. Nah, couldn't be. Out here? Closer look, and oh, it's real. Real. Metal. And it's not alone. No, there are dozens of them in ones and twos spread out over acres of the desert as if challenging the monsoon clouds. They seem oddly at home here, unaffected by blowing sand and scorching heat. They are these most improbable, unlikely metal sculptures. More than 130 of them now, including a 350-foot dragon serpent undulating across the desert, just this one so big that a road runs right through it. You know if you live in Borrego or have visited or like so many of us have seen them out here off of Borrego Springs Road around an area called Galeta Meadows. But maybe you've wondered, how did this ever happen? Who did this? And that's where we're going to pick up the story, because there was a man, the late Dennis Avery, a whip-smart attorney, Harley Davidson writer, and heir to the Avery Sticky Label fortune. You know those Avery peel-off labels? Well, that was his family, and he owned this land out here in Borrego Springs, on which he imagined there could be public art. Replicas of prehistoric creatures and whimsical creations on a giant scale. But who could do it? He had to find the right person to do it, a sculptor, really talented, but with a whimsical, happy, playful side. Well, we wanted to find him too, so road trip. An hour's drive from Borrego, about 18 miles east of Temecula, in fact, along Highway 79, suddenly look. More of these metal sculptures alongside the road there, and another one, and a sign. Enjoy the view art by Ricardo Braceda. And then suddenly on the north side of the road, like a Christmas tree lot, is row after row of fantastical creations from Ricardo Braceda. He's the guy who did all those Borrego sculptures and who has welded and hammered out in sheet metal, maybe a couple of hundred more here in Aguanga, California. Hey, look at all, all I have, you know. I have marlins, horses, cows, donkeys, T-Rexes, rams, octopuses. One thing about Ricardo, some of his creatures may be frightening and intimidating, but that's not him at all. He'll never be the somber artist brooding over life. This whole metal sculpture thing, he's having the time of his life. Oh, it's, it's fun. It's more than fun. It's a passion. Born in Durango, Mexico, this, all of this started when his daughter asked him if he could make a life-size dinosaur. He did. And it was the first of many. Soon there were fans who started following him and his work. He meets more of them here every day. He calls that his best pay. The best pay for an artist is when people like what you do, when people enjoy what you do, when people feel what you do. But he's also become quite the success. He sold pieces to people who come from as far away as China to see his work. This place, this sort of outdoor showroom, is where this genuinely genial genius is at his happiest. I have many people come over and enjoying and smiling and I mean it's on and on every day is like a new day. Who are you going to meet today? What are they going to say? He's been commissioned to do giant works throughout Southern California. His biggest, that serpent in Borrego Springs. How did he think of it? Did the inspiration come from a dragon book or a picture? Well, the dragon, I make it myself out of my head. It's not dragons and no books nowhere. I make that dragon in my head. Every piece, every one of them has its own personality, Ricardo says. Very detail-oriented. Just look at this one, horses and wagon, like they would last forever out here in the elements, and they just might. The cactus he created nearby surely will. But his work also seems to have so much of his sense of fun. That's right, it's what I do. I make people smile. I make people happy. An art critic might find hidden meanings in Ricardo's fantastical sculptures. He's changed careers, suffered a debilitating construction injury, and sold cowboy boots before he ever discovered he could do this. And now? It's better than the, the San Diego Sioux. Well, and it's something else, I think. It's inspiring. 
These pieces of art here and scattered across the desert are an inspiration to think large, think fearlessly. Focus on something, make it happen. Do it, just do it. And most of all, most of all, have fun.